Good morning, folks. We're starting today in 304 angstroms of light looking at our star. We've got some interesting articles, space weather, and some eclipse perspective you might not have seen yet. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at the last 24 hours on our star. Might actually be able to see the moon cross top right. You'll notice a lack of any major activity, as indeed the X-ray flux is on its way, trending down. And that is with both sunspot groups now firmly on the Earth-facing half of the sun. Once again, the sun is silent in Earth-directed position. Big sunspots out ahead are spreading slowly without additional umbral production, and it's falling apart. Meanwhile, the flares behind the limb from the incoming group become a bit more puzzling in the face of a moderate beta magnetism spot visible now. Moving on to the solar wind, and we are seeing some minor kinetic intensification, but with the magnetism of the stream all over the place, caused a brief geomagnetic storm. NASA and NOAA will tell you the storm was unexpected, but these do happen more often than you'd think during new moons, likely due to its ion and magnetic tail. It is slightly cometary, don't forget. Let's also quickly pull 211 angstroms and watch through the last day as the next set of coronal holes becomes visible on the south, from the left. Well folks, about the most I can contribute to the Eclipse lexicon is drawing your attention to the Doppler gram as I was checking out the depth and doing core analysis of the sunspots when the eclipsing moon managed to clip over part of this satellite view as well, which was slightly off alignment with the Earth so the eclipse wasn't perfect. But at the end, watch closely here because this is a Doppler gram and it gets pickup from the lunar surface as well, which might be the first of its kind image of our moon. Beyond that, we want to see your photos on our Facebook page, The Mobile Observatory Project. Like and follow to get first announcements and looks at how our family attempts to make this sun life work. We posted a call out for those pictures, and I don't think Catherine realized just how much Mr. Nettles looks like the dude. Anyway, tons of your photos are already there. We would love for you to post and share them. We've got everything from pinhole viewers to great camera work with filtering. Love to see you over there. Top articles today includes one for the ocean atmosphere coupling geeks like me and Scott Winbeal. Some detail without too much quantitative conclusions, but pretty good one for theory. And then this. A model dictating that low-mass planets and new disks can undergo rapid orbital decay when hitting magnetic dead zones. Between cymatic and other cloudy plate experiment examples of such phenomenon, one has to imagine it also comports with our ancestors' stories of chaos in the skies. We've got your wind maps, ways to get involved, and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.